What's going on everyone? Movie Game Guy here, back with another collection update. Stuff's been piling up. I mean, I literally have all this to show. So, I just want to get right into this, because this is probably going to be a little bit of a long video. But here we go. First up, a Wild Eye release. Um, shark Attack 3-pack. It says Sharkenstein, Raiders of the Lost Shark, and Shark Exorcist on it. Pretty cool uh, 3-pack right here, if you like. You know, cheesy shark films. I know I do, so I happy to get that. Up next, uh, sorry about the glare. Um, Scream Factor release of Charles Bronson and 10 to Midnight. Never saw this movie before I got this, and it's definitely very cool, the reverse art. Good stuff. Surprised I didn't have this in the collection, but now I do, so. 30 Days of Night. Pretty cool stuff. A vampire film that takes place, I think, in Alaska. And up next, 42nd Street Forever, Volume 3, Exploitation Explosion. Still sealed. I haven't checked this out yet, but I love these trailer compilations. Here's some of what's on this. Pretty cool stuff. I had to pick this up. The 47 meters down. This was a couple bucks. I said, why not? I already have it as In the Deep, the recalled one, but wanted to pick it up under that title too. I guess it's a little different also. A movie I absolutely love, 100 Tears. This is the extended director's cut from Unearthed Films. Great, great film right here, real gory, real fun. I recommend that one. A bootleg that I definitely need to get uh, a legit release that Tara for Tom told me about, The Abomination. Love this movie. This is definitely this is not an official release, so I'm just happy to actually have it though. To be able to watch Abomination. Another one, Adam's Family. Classic. Was real surprised I didn't have this on disc. I also need to get Adam's Family Values, but fun movies. Beautiful release from Arrow. Alice Sweet Alice. Awesome stuff with a beautiful slip cover. Let's see if I can get this with one hand to show you guys. The reverse art. It's classic stuff. I like the newly commissioned artwork too. Alice with Alice. Next, Alien Abduction. I've been loving on these cheesy sci fi alien type movies. Forget why not. I haven't seen that one yet, but it just looks fun. This one I've seen. Love this movie, Alien Hunter. James Spader. Classic stuff right here. Real fun. Next, Alien Trespass. Never seen this before, but it's got Robert Patrick in it, so it's got to be fun. It's supposed to be like a show back to 50s, like sci fi stuff. Cool. One from SRS Cinema, American Gore Stories Volume 4, Best of Shot on Video. And I love that artwork. Very cool stuff. It's just four films Vicious Sweet. Shattered Dead, which I already have, but it's cool to have it in the set. Uh, the Pact and Twisted Illusion. Real cool stuff. Can't wait to dig into those. I've seen um, Shattered Dead, but the other ones I haven't. A beautiful, beautiful release from Arrow. This is the American Horror Project Volume 2. It says Dark August and Dream No Evil and The Child on it. Still haven't dug into this yet, but very happy to have it. It's real nice stuff. Happy they made a Volume 2. Hopefully they keep going. I love the first one. I'm surprised that, uh, I mean, I'm sure that one's going to be no different. Susan Summers and Ants. Pretty fun killer ant film right here. I love it. Definitely uh, one to have. Up next, Apartment Zero. I think I saw this, I don't know, a few years ago. So the old Anchor Bay release. But I don't really remember it too well. But it does look familiar. I'll check it out very soon. One that I definitely love. Um, Apple Cart, Dustin Mills, with his autograph on it also. Really good stuff right here. Not for everyone, but uh, I really enjoyed it. I recommend it for sure. Max a sealed copy. Mondo Macabre release of Assault, Jack the Ripper. Just from the uh, Nakatsu Violent Pink collection or series or whatever. 
Got this for a really good price and still sealed, so why not? I love adding Mondo Macabros to the collection and checking out what they release. Next, Backwoods with Haley Duff, Hilary Duff's older sister. This just looked really cheesy and looked fun, so I figured why not. Next, the Bad Seed, and classic right here. Happy to finally add that to the collection, too. Got the Mented Crazy Kids. Up next, real weird that this uh, got made, but I'm not complaining about it. The Banana Splits movie, based on the 1967 to 1970 uh, TV series that was out. This time, they're like killers. I just think that's funny. Still sealed, I haven't checked it out yet, but I will very soon. Happy about that one. Can't wait to check it out. Then one that should have gotten a while ago, but didn't. Better watch out. Something to watch during Christmas time. Looks fun. Haven't heard too much about it, but then again, I haven't really looked into it. But I figured why not. Up next, a uh, Olaf Edenbach film, Beyond the Limits. It's a crazy two-disc uh, special edition. Nuts gore film. But I really enjoy it. Beyond the Limits. I guess it's number two. next the bigfoot wars i haven't checked this out yet but i love anything with bigfoot sasquatch and see thomas howells in this so it's probably gonna be fun probably real cheesy but fun heard a lot of good things about this one glad to finally add it to the collection bigfoot the lost coast tapes very cool another one glad to add to the collection I haven't seen yet Masters of horror um, Stuart Gordon directed Black Cat based on Edgar Allan Poe story starring Jeffrey Combs as Edgar Allan Poe I can't wait to watch this this is another one I heard a lot of great things about one I never hear about Black Rat this is a pretty cool Asian film I enjoyed it I recommend Black Rat Blind Date classic stuff right here from uh, Nico Masterakis Blind date. One that I really enjoyed too, Bloodbath Beyond the Mind's Eye. With a double feature, Absolution and uh Insaniac. Very cool. Loved both of these. Really awesome stuff from uh SR Cinema. Bloodbath Beyond the Mind's Eye. Another one that was fun. Bloodbath in the House of Knives. Surprisingly, this was released by Alpha Video. But very cool stuff right here. I really enjoyed it. Real cheesy, but right up my alley. Bloodletting. Another one that I was happy to add to the collection. Been wanting this one for a while. This is some fun, cheesy stuff. Blood Knight, The Legend of Mary Hatchet. Starring Daniel Harris and Bill Mosley. This one was alright. It wasn't anything too great, but I still enjoyed it. One that I haven't checked out yet. The Bloodshed looks completely and utterly ridiculous, but I, I love that kind of shit, so can't wait to check it out. If you guys have seen this, let me know what you thought about it. Another one I really loved, Blood Surf. Oh, great cheesy, you know, crocodile type shit right here, alligator or whatever. Awesome. I love that movie. Another really fun one, Western Horror, Blood Trail. Pretty good stuff. I love this one too. Bones. So happy to finally add this to the collection. Watched this a ton as a kid. Love, love, love this movie. Definitely some great stuff. Snoop Dogg. Boogeyman. This is the, I guess the remake or whatever. Not too great of a film. Wanted to add it to the collection. Still got to get Boogeyman. Two and three, which I heard were a lot better. Pick this up at FYE. They were having a sale. The Boris Karloff collection. My buddy, Dr. Gonzo Boogie, had this back in the day, and I always wanted it, but never picked it up. I'm glad I finally added it to the collection. Night Key. This is Tower of London. The Climax. The Strange Door. And The Black Castle. All really cool stuff. I've seen them all before. Just happy to finally you know, own them myself. One I got from a buddy of mine, Bob, The Breed, directed by Nick Master Daria. 
if I pronounce that right. It looks pretty good. I heard decent things about it. It's a West Craven production, so definitely want to check it out. Buried Alive. Um, this is just the slip cover for Beyond the Darkness, which I already had the Blu ray. Just picked up the slip when they had that sale. Love that artwork, so I was like, why not? And Beyond the Darkness is, I don't know, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Joe D'Amato films. One I'm very happy to have. Cheesy stuff, but absolutely love it. Cannibal Cop, autographed by uh, Donald Farmer, which is very cool. I got it actually directly from him. But really fun, cheesy stuff. If you know SRS Cinema and Donald Farmer and people like that, then you'll know what you're getting into. But really enjoy that one. Another cheesy one from SRS Cinema. This is Chainsaw Killer. This is a Polonia Brothers film. Mark Polonia film. Pretty cool. Really, really, really cheesy stuff, but I really enjoyed it. One I haven't checked out yet. A new one from Shout Factory, which I don't know why they didn't put under Scream Factory, but uh, Charlie Says about Charles Manson. It's from the writer and director of American Psycho. So that's awesome. That's a great film. I think her name was yeah, Mary Heron. And Chasing Darkness. I heard pretty decent things about this one. I wanted to check it out. Released by Midnight Releasing. Yeah. And Children of the Living Dead. I'm from the executive producer of A Nightmare on Elm Street. Not expecting too many great things from this, but read the synopsis and it seemed interesting figured why not check it out another one from Wild Eye releasing Wild Eye Raw Extreme Line clickbait haven't watched this yet but plan on soon I want to get all these Wild Eye Raw and Extreme Line releases for what I've seen so far they're awesome um, next up the Cohasset snuff film I heard many things about this and I've seen it a ton of times but never picked it up I'm glad to finally pick it up and check it out. I'm sure it's nothing too great, but I love that artwork. Cheesy. Next up, Contamination Point 7. I'm happy to add this to the collection of Scream Factory. One from Dark Sky Films. Just Franco's Count Dracula, starring Christopher Lee. Awesome stuff right here. I love uh, Christopher Lee as Dracula. Um, along with Christopher Lee and Count Dracula and his Vampire Brides this is also known as Satanic Rites of Dracula and this also has Peter Cushion in it but I liked it under that name Count Dracula and his Vampire Brides one that I really enjoyed horror anthology and Cradle of Fear made by uh, well not made by but starring Danny Filth the uh, from Cradle of Filth, but yeah, I really enjoyed this horror anthology, Cradle of Fear. Next up, the Craft Scream Factory release. I'm happy that this thing got put out. I was, I'm, I was happy with the DVD, but glad it got like the Scream Factory treatment. Absolutely love this movie. It's a classic. Watched it a ton as a kid with my sister. And I love that artwork too. Pretty cool shit. Up next, an After Dark Horror Fest release, uh, Eight Films to Die For, Crazy Eights with Tracy Lords. I saw this a while ago. Uh, my uncle has this, and always wanted to pick it up. Never came across it until just recently, so I picked it up. Next, Creep Van, another one that I've been wanting to see for a while. I still haven't checked out yet, but it looks really good. Definitely going to get on that. The Curse of the Queer Wolf. It's absolutely ridiculous, but I don't know. I, I want to see some like gay werewolf shit. It just seems ridiculous, real ridiculous. Uh, Fangoria put one of the better horror spoofs to come along. <laughs> Variety, extremely funny, wide-ranged horror satire, ranging satire. It just looks crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, up next, got this from my buddy Bob. Uh, Curse of the Witching Tree. 
never heard of this before. He said it was good. He recommended it to me, so I'm going to check it out. Next, one that's real hard to find. Real happy to get my hands on. Dark Carnival, The Thrill Ride to Fear from uh, York Entertainment or yeah, York Entertainment. It's just going for like more than 100 bucks online, which I'm like, really? But it's an alright film. I enjoyed it. And then up next, a Victor Salva film, a Dark House. I haven't checked this one out yet, and I'm not a fan of Victor Salva's personal shit at all, but I do enjoy his films. Just for you to check this one out. Up next, passed this up so many times that I was like, fuck it, why not just get it? I think I got it for like a dollar. Unrated widescreen edition of Jennifer Connelly and the American remake Dark Water. I haven't seen this. Or at least if I did, it was years ago, and I don't remember it, but I love Jennifer Connelly, so why not? Next, Dead Before Dawn. Looks pretty fun. It's Christopher Lloyd in it, so if we're good, why not, you know, check it out. I love this kind of shit. Next, another one I've passed up so many times. Uh, Dead Birds. Glad to finally have it. Heard a lot of good things about this one, too. That picture always, like, bugged me out of the, like, kid. Dead Birds. Dead Clowns. I've been on like a clown kick recently, so I'm just trying to pick up a bunch of clown films. Went and saw It Part 2, or Chapter 2, whatever, and it was real good. I enjoyed it. Um, up next, Dead Girl, released by Dark Sky Films. Definitely a fucked up movie right here. Some, some brutal ass shit, for sure. The kid from... Oh, uh, what the hell was it? Um... I won't even focus. Yeah, there we go. That kid right there, he's uh, the main character in Kevin Fever 2, Spring Break, which is one of my favorites. But he's fucked up in Dead Girl. Soska Sisters film, Dead Hooker in a Trunk, released by IFC Midnight. Happy to have this. Love the Soska Sisters and love this movie. Deadly Species, a classic that I'm very happy to add to the collection, too. This is something I've always enjoyed. Dead Meat, never seen this before, but if we really give it a try, looks alright, got the synopsis, and Fangoria, so, I don't know, why not, The Deep, Nick Nolte, Robert Shaw, this is a classic right here, I was real surprised I didn't have this in the collection, The Deep, another one I passed up so many times, for a couple years now, and finally picked it up, The Deep Evil. So this one uh, video place that I go, not Blockbuster, this is, I guess it was at Blockbuster at one point, but not Game Exchange that I go to, and saw this, every time I went there, I never picked it up, I'm glad I finally did. Is it, it's something I've been wanting to check out for a while, Deep Evil. Now this one, I've already had this film, but I had to pick up the slip cover from Vinegar Syndrome because I'm like that, but Demonoid, here's the like... I had it as uh, Macabre, and then flipped it back over to Demonoid. So why not? So Demonoid, slipcover from Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, Despiser. Um, looks like a really cheesy film, but looks fun. Another one released by Alpha Video. I mean, look at that. That just looks so fun. Figured why not check it out. Produced, written, and directed by Philip Cook. Despiser. And then Stephen King's Desperation, uh, directed by Mick Garris. Oh, classic stuff right here. I really love this film. Ron Perlman is that, like, a fucking creepy ass, like, cop guy. It's really good. I mean, a lot of uh, religious, like, you know, undertones and all that, but I mean, it was it was real fun. I really like uh, Desperation. Up next, The Deviants. I haven't checked this out yet. Esther a Cinema. That looks cool. And someone tell me, is Kiss Daddy Goodbye a double feature with this? Or am I missing a disc or something? Because I don't know. This uh, obviously is the deviance, but I'm so confused. If anybody out there could let me know about this, I, I'd love to know. Next, the Devil's Chair. A pretty cool film. I like this one. This is the unrated version. 
awesome style. Domestic disturbance, more of a thriller. It says right here, yeah, quintessential thriller. John Travolta, Vince Vaughn, really good stuff. I enjoy this one. One from Wild Eye that I still have to check out. Don't look. Looks pretty cool. Can't wait to give it a watch. Another one I haven't checked out yet. And don't look in the cellar. Heard decent things about this. So why not? The classic right here. It's present I have it in the collection. Doom. With Dwayne Johnson. This is the unrated edition. Extended cut. D like Hitchcock, a Dario Argento film, one of his newer ones. Haven't checked this out yet, an older Anchor Bay, but I will very soon. One that I had to upgrade, and Dracula, Prince of Darkness. Love this uh, movie. Love Christopher Lee, all that Hammer stuff, and this was no exception. I had to definitely scoop this, even though I just got the DVD a little while ago. That shit happens all the time. Next, Dreamcatcher, Stephen King, based on Stephen King's story. Really enjoy this film. Real good one, in my opinion. One that I'm very happy to add to the collection, Dust Devil. Richard Stanley film from Subversive is the limited collector's edition. Like, five-disc set that comes with two cuts of Dust Devil and three documentaries by Richard Stanley. Very cool stuff. Nice release right here. One was a downgrade, but wanted this for years. Evil Ed. This is a no-brainer. The unrated director's cut. From Artistry Entertainment. I already have the Scream Fact. Not the Scream Fact. Wow, the Arrow Blu-ray. And then I have a German copy of this too, but on DVD. But, you know, I had to pick that up. Up next, Evil Laugh. Love this movie. Happily, happy to finally add it to the collection. It's a classic. Another one I'm glad to add to the collection, Evils of the Night. This is a Vinegar Syndrome release. Very cool stuff right here. Used to rent it on VHS when I was a kid. Evil Town. Never heard of this movie before Vinegar Syndrome put it out. But it was pretty cool. I liked it. I liked the whole concept of the VHS or whatever. It slips out of the bottom. Very awesome. Cool stuff. The Faculty, a classic. I had to have this on disc. It had a, I have it on VHS, but definitely needed to upgrade. Love this movie by Robert Rodriguez. One of my favorites from him. Another Scream Factory release, The Fangs of the Living Dead. Some classic stuff that I love. I had to get on disc. Another one I had years ago, glad to finally add back in the collection. Fearless Vampire Killers, or pardon me, but your teeth are in my neck. One Polanski film right here with the late Sharon Tate. I think this is, was the last movie she was in. There's Roman Polanski right there. Really good stuff. Love that movie. One that I used to have when I was younger and can't remember it too well. Didn't hear too many good things about it, but Fear of Clowns. Happy to finally add it back in the collection. And I'm happy to add to the collection two massacre video release of Final Stab. I haven't dug into this yet. It's still sealed, but I will check it out very soon. One that I absolutely love too, Bill Paxton film, uh, Frailty, starring Bill Paxton, Matthew McConaughey. The God's Hand Killer. Some great stuff right here. If you haven't seen this, highly recommend it. I'm sure you've all seen it before. Next, Frankenstein, The True Story. I think it's like a British, or no, is it like a, I don't know if it's British or not. I've never seen this, but uh, it's a made for TV movie. This thing runs like three hours and three minutes, so it's pretty long. Want to check it out, though. Heard it was good. Frankenstein's Bloody Terror. Paul Nash, he has the Wolfman. Some cheesy stuff, but happy to have it. Shriek Show. Love Paul Nash, so... Why not? Got this for a dollar, so I said, fuck it. Frank and Weenie, uh, Tim Burton, the remake of his short that he did in the 
late 80s, early 90s. It's probably going to be good, so why not? Never seen that one before, but I love the original Frank and Winnie short. Freak Out. Pretty funny movie right here. An old Anchor Bay release. I really like this one. Not for everyone, but I thought it was cool. Got this at Kmart. The last Kmart around me is closing, so I had to get some stuff from them. Uh, fresh water. I love a shitty, you know, shark, shitty alligator, crocodile, you know, snake. All that kind of stuff. Those kind of films, so I wanted to pick it up and it's Wild Eye helped MVD visual and Infuse releasing. Get this out. Looks fun. I got in the dump bin at Walmart. Friend request. Something my girl thought would be cool to check out, so picked it up. From Dust Till Dawn 3, The Hangman's Daughter. Another one that was pretty fun, more like a western horror. Enjoyed it. Move these over closer to me. Another stack. Another one my girl kind of wanted. A ghost house. We checked it out. I thought it was pretty cool. Definitely weird, but this like house where it's got like I don't know, like this like little thing that this chick like grabs from it. She gets like lured into doing it, and you know, it's like ghost thing like takes over her it's it's pretty good i liked it not one of the best but it was definitely enjoyable more fun than i thought it was going to be when i haven't checked out yet but happy to add to the collection ghost stories this is ifc midnight with teamed up with scream factory it's horror anthology can't wait to dig into it looks good one that was a definite upgrade for me i had the old omega dvd release in grandmother's house Beautiful, beautiful release right here by Nico Masterakis. And I haven't opened it up yet, so it's still sealed, but great stuff. Vinegar Syndrome, of course. Habit. Saw this movie years ago and really enjoyed it. Glad to finally add it back to the collection. Halloween. The 2018 version. I haven't checked it out yet. I can wait until around Halloween. Just waiting for this to go down a little bit in price. I got it for, I think it was like 10 bucks at Walmart or Target or something like that. Next, Haunted Boat. Don't know too much about this, but I love boat horror, so why not? The remake to The Haunting. I enjoyed this movie. I saw it years ago. It's been a little while, but for what I can remember, I, I thought it was fun. Not as good as the original, but I still thought it was good. Another one from Wild Eye, High Death. I think this is like a sequel or another one of those like High 8 type uh, anthologies. It's pretty cool. This has Tim Ritter, Todd Sheets, and a few other people. Um, doing shorts in this, so it's pretty cool. Can we to check it out. House of the Dead 2, got this for a dollar. Didn't have it, figured why not. It's like the sequel to the first House of the Dead, which is based on the old, like, you know, uh, shooter games. Not a shooter, but like light gun games. Up next, another upgrade, but happy to have this. Beautiful release, House on Haunted Hill, the Remake released by Scream Factory. I've always enjoyed this film. Obviously, I love the Vincent Price one a lot more, but this is a great one too. Happy that I got this. Next, How to Kill a Monster. This is from the Creature Features line. I think there's five of these that came out back in the early 2000s. Pretty cool stuff. next after dark originals husk i love scarecrow horror films so figured why not i haven't checked it out yet though just like this i love the creepy spider films ice spiders spiders are my biggest fear so why not incarnate got this at the dollar store or uh, big lots something like that for a couple bucks, but I figured why not check it out. Real happy to add this to the collection. Didn't have this at all, even on VHS. Uh, 
John Carpenter's In the Mouth of Madness with Sam Neill. Scream Factory release. Beautiful stuff right here. Absolutely love this film. Intruders. Saw this a ton in stores a few years ago and just never picked it up. I got it for a dollar, so I said, why not? Another one picked up for a dollar. I saw what you did. Uh, John Crawford. I know this has a Scream Factory Blu ray release, but uh, I love the old Anchor Bay, so I'll add them to the collection whenever I can. Along with this one, the slip cover's a little beat, but uh, this is how I had it when I was younger with the slip. Uh, Serena Vincent and it waits. Old Anchor Bay. I enjoyed this film. Nothing too great, but I still thought it was cool. Next, Jolly Roger, Massacre at Cutter's Cove. Wanted to check this out. It seemed real cheesy. One that was really good. Love this movie, Jug Face. I highly recommend this one. Some really good stuff right here. Who put this out again? MVD Visual. Great film. Got this at, I think, Big Lots for a couple bucks. Jurassic Park. Blu-ray 3D, the Blu-ray, the DVD, digital copy, and ultraviolet, still sealed. Classic film right here, real tight, slip cover. But classic film right here, everyone knows Jurassic Park. I'm gonna have it on disc, so it's like, fuck it. Another one I thought was pretty cool, killer movie. Um, people dying on a movie set, always fun stuff. Classic, killer shrews, didn't have this, happy to... Add it to the collection from Alpha Video. Just real fun, old school stuff. 1959, black and white. Classic. Killing Ariel. Haven't heard too much about this one. But with the synopsis, it sounded good. Just figured why not pick it up and check it out. Same thing with this one. A trauma release, a Killing Twice. Never heard of this film before. But it was real cheap and it seemed interesting enough. And I love trauma, so why not? Another one from Dustin Mills, uh, Kill That Bitch, autographed by him also. Real crazy stuff right here. Not for everyone, but I really enjoyed it. The total opposite of Kill That Bitch, uh, King Kong, from Peter Jackson film. Uh, I don't know, I, I put this in the uh, horror, because, you know, King Kong original is kind of horror, and this is a uh, remake, sequel, whatever you want to call it, Jack Black. I enjoyed this, though, good Peter Jackson stuff. Classic right here, Nightmare, about a killer night, um, released by SRS Cinema. I've seen this before, this is still sealed, though, but real fun stuff. And then move this one over a little closer. The Land That Time For God. I think this is like a shitty uh, TV movie with C. Thomas Howell and Timothy Bottoms. Released by Asylum. Third one, uh, I, I love the original one. The last horror movie. Still haven't checked this out yet. But I got a uh, Fink Order Presents a Gore Zone video. Still ready to director's cut. We'll get around to it soon. Robert England, The Last Showing. No killings in the movie theater. Pretty fun film. I, I love Robert England, so... I had fun with that one. Haven't checked this out yet. Did not pay four ninety seven for it, even though I would have. I got this in a lot from a guy. In late phases, Night of the Lone Wolf. Is still sealed have to watch this, heard a lot of great things about it. Leeches. I've seen this one floating around a few times, never picked it up, but finally did. <laughs> that looks so cheesy, some giant leeches attacking people. Just looks fun. Real good one right here. Uh, Leprechaun Returns. Uh, loved this one. Definitely enjoyed it. And brought back that like fun that you had with the original Leprechaun series. Uh, let the Right One In. Uh, classic vampire flick right here. I, I love this movie. I was real surprised I didn't have it in the collection yet. But I had to add it. 
Another one, Happy to Add to the Collection, The Lift. A great film by Dick Maas. Love this. Absolutely love it. Love this release from Blue Underground, too. Movie I'm happy to finally add to the collection. Was never able to find this until just recently. Lightning Bug, Old Anchor Bay release. Really awesome film right here. I've always loved this one. Glad to finally add it to the collection. Never seen it. I think on Sci Fi years ago. Sci Fi Channel. And uh, up next, Lost Skeleton of Cadavera. Cadavera. However you want to pronounce that. Got it for a buck. It looked pretty fun, so. Why not? Then, uh, the Mailman, another one I used to love watching. Uh, old Anchor Bay. Glad to finally add back to the collection. Some good stuff. Up next, another film that I'm very happy to add to the collection. Been wanting to see this for a while. A special edition, a two disc set released by Anchor Bay. It's real cool. Definitely gotta dig into that real soon. One I got at uh, Walmart, the Manson Family Massacre. Pick up anything with like serial killers in it nowadays, and this looks real cheesy, but a good one. I give it a try. Tom Hanks and Mazes and Monsters. I've been wanting to see this for a while too. This is actually a film from the 80s with uh, Tom Hanks, I believe. Uh, this is 80s, maybe early 90s, but yeah. Want to check it out? Mission to Mars, a classic one. I used to watch this on sci fi all the time. Enjoy it. Monster House. Never seen this one, but heard good things about it. If we'd want to give it a try, I'd probably watch it around like Halloween time. When well, I'm happy to upgrade from the double feature Anchor Bay release that I have on DVD, Mountaintop Motel Massacre, released by Vinegar Syndrome. Absolutely beautiful release right here. Love it. I love the uh, reverse art too. This is still sealed, but just some like crazy stuff right there. Like what the hell? Uh, there you go. Great stuff. Another one I'm happy to add to the collection. Multiple Maniacs, John Waters film, released by Criterion. Awesome stuff right here. I love uh, John Waters stuff. Another one very happy to have, Don Dollar's Night Beast, released by Vinegar Syndrome. Another one that's absolutely beautiful. Haven't opened this up yet, but I've seen this movie a ton of times. So happy to add this to the collection. Nice Vinegar Syndrome too. Great. One got for a couple bucks, Nightcrawler. Uh, love this movie also, Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, I'm probably going to show this to my girl tonight, actually. She uh, She's never seen it. Another one I gotta show her sometime. A Night of the Creeps. This is the Collector's Edition Scream Factory Blu-ray release. I haven't opened this up yet, but I've seen this movie a ton of times. Just an all-time classic. Love this release, too. <laughs> Love this artwork. The good news is your date is here. The bad news is he's dead. <laughs> oh, great stuff. Night Fright. Some uh, cheesy classic stuff uh, from Alpha Video. 1967 just it looks real fun figured why not check it out up next octopus 2 river of fear i've actually never seen this film before uh just recently found out about it it was i guess a rental blockbuster at one point but i've never even heard of an, uh the first octopus so if anybody uh, knows about that let me know it looks fun Orca, classic right here, Orca the Killer Whale. Happy to finally add this to the collection, been after this for a little while. Classic stuff. Pan's Labyrinth. Uh, uh, Benicio Del Toro film. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Definitely got some creepy parts like with that fucking thing. Bug that out, but real good. Classic right here, one of my favorite masters of horrors. Pelts, uh, starring Meatloaf and John Saxon at Dario Argeno. Made this. This is fucking, oh, the top of it's kind of like fucked up, but this is just a pretty nuts film. Some of the deaths in this are pretty wild. A good one, though. 
uh, Pet Cemetery, the remake. Uh, I, I thought it was alright. I mean, it's definitely nothing too great. Don't like how they changed it up, but there's no reverse of it. But, you know, that's Hollywood for you. That's what it is. It's got John Lithgow in it, though, so. It's a very friendly Judd. Up next, Phantasm Ravenger. I have this way up there in the box. Uh, sorry about that. If you could see the arrow box. Uh, not, yeah, right there. But. I wanted to get uh, an individual release too, so I don't think I'm taking it out of that thing. That thing's actually sealed up there. I haven't opened it up yet, but this is sealed too. Phantasm 5 Ravenger. Um, pretty good stuff. Got it for real cheap, so why not? Joan Crawford and Possessed. Old Warner Brothers release. Well, schizophrenia. Pretty crazy stuff. <laughs> real tame, though. If, uh, if you think of like nowadays stuff, this came out in 1947. Predator 2 didn't have it and got it for a dollar, so why not? Classic stuff. Danny Glover, Gary Busey. Predators. My buddy Bob hooked me up with this. Why not check it out? Looks pretty cool. The Progeny. Brian Usna film. Pretty wacky stuff. I love it, though. When I didn't really enjoy Pumpkinhead Ashes to Ashes. And that's Hendrickson, Doug, Doug Bradley. I mean, look at the Pumpkinhead right there. Cheesy, but I had to add it to the collection. When I found out for six bucks at uh, my local game exchange, Umbrella release of The Punisher, the original with Dolph Lundgren. But that was very cool. I was very surprised about that. I was like, oh shit. He's got some like weird other artwork I'm just sticking with it this one right here it's very weird seeing an umbrella release at my local game exchange next Ravage Sub Rosa uh, release haven't checked this out yet but it sounded pretty fun some low budget crap it's right up my alley next Raw Force uh, vinegar syndrome. Um, to be honest, I don't even have the film right now. All I have is the slip cover. Picked it up there on there, like slip cover thing. I gotta really get on that. I heard this is a pretty fun, crazy movie. But the slip cover is beautiful, so I had to pick it up. I'll be getting on that raw force soon. Return of the Living Dead Part Two. The Scream Factory release. A pretty good sequel to the classic Return of the Living Dead. I'm glad to upgrade from the DVD I had. Rings got this for a couple bucks. The girl wanted to check it out, so I said, fuck it, why not? The Roost, Ty West film. I think this is Ty West's first film. Um, haven't seen this yet. Looks fun. Another one I picked up at Kmart Saltwater Atomic Shark. Looks like some real cheesy stuff, but love shitty shark films, so why not? We're happy to have this. Add this to the collection from Mondo Macabro, Satanico, Pandemonium. Been wanting to add this for a while. Awesome. I love this movie. Real good stuff. Another one happy to add to the collection, Satan Slave, Vinegar Syndrome release. Absolutely beautiful stuff. I haven't dug into this one yet, but I've seen the movie before. Really enjoy it. Satan's Slave. One never heard of before. Savage Harbor. I had to pick it up. Vinegar Syndrome. Also known as Death Feud. Um, another one that you know you pull out the case for, and it's supposed to get that like VHS vibe. Very awesome. Scary movie. Was real surprised I didn't have this in the collection. Glad to finally add it. A horror spoof. Everyone knows about this, but I love it. And Scary Movie 2. Another one that's just absolutely great. I love this movie. Good stuff. I don't know if I'm going to pick up any more of them, but the first two are just classic, in my opinion. Wild Eye release right here. Scary Stories. A documentary about the three. 
books that came out from um, Alvin Schwartz. Pretty cool stuff right here. You got like R.L. Stein, a few other people in here talking about like the impact that the books left on people. Cool stuff. Um, up next, another Wild Eye release, Scrawl. I haven't checked this out yet, but it looks pretty cool by someone that draws his comics and it comes to life or something like that. Be digging into that soon. The Scream Factory release, The Seduction. Um, can't wait to check this out. Looks real fun. Morgan Fairchild. Another um, John Waters film, The Serial Mom. Classic stuff right here. Kathleen Turner. Uh real great I love this movie released by Scream Factory if you guys haven't seen this definitely check this out it's one of my favorites I love it and Severed Forest of the Dead heard a lot of great things about this so I wanted to pick it up and check it out looks pretty cool looks pretty crazy it's gonna be fun one that I didn't have in the collection glad to finally add haven't even taken it out of this FYE plastic yet uh, Sergeant Kabuki Man, NYPD, Trauma, of course. Really great stuff right here. I absolutely love this. I was real happy to find it at my local FYE because they're turning into more of a, I don't know, like a souvenir type store kind of crap. It's, I don't know, not as many movies, CDs, and crap like that anymore. Up next, Shadow Zone, a full moon film that I needed. It was after this for a while. Glad to finally add it to the collection. I think all I need now is uh, Arcade, and then I have everything up to, I think, like, 98 from Full Moon on discs. That's pretty cool. And then Shaun of the Dead. Everybody knows about this film. Didn't have it in the collection. Figured, fuck it, just add it. I got it for a dollar. Up next, The Shallows, Blake Lively. I thought this was a pretty fun film. I was really into it. My buddy of mine, Bob, gave me this. I was thankful for that. Um, the Shredder. Um, Scorpion release right here. One of the newer releases. I uh, really enjoyed this uh, Killer Snowboarder uh, film. I uh, had the DVD upgraded, of course, because I really like this one. It's definitely pretty cool. And the artwork's beautiful, too, on this. I really like it. I think it came with a poster, too, which is cool. I'll keep it in there, but... Happy to finally add this to the collection. Uh, Sleep Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 2. Very cool release from Scream Factory. Not that great of a film, but wanted to add it to the collection. Didn't have it. So that's very awesome. There's a little bit of damage right there, but it is what it is, if you can see that. Uh, whatever. Slaughterhouse, just the slip cover. I have the 88 Films release, and I am going to be picking up the Vinegar Syndrome uh, version soon. I just wanted to get this before it was gone. Very nice stuff, very unique. Awesome stuff. And this is Stephen King's Sleepwalkers. So this is a beautiful release from Scream Factory, also. I'm still sealed, I haven't opened this one up yet, but I had to upgrade from the DVD because I absolutely love this movie. It's crazy stuff. Another one I had to upgrade, Slither. This is a James Gunn film, released by Scream Factory. Of course, it's a classic. Another one I had to upgrade, Love Slither. Michael Rooker in this goes through some creepy ass shit. Then that one huge chick that's fucking. Oh, like pregnant with those little like, baby things. Just nasty. Uh, Lucio Fulci's uh, Sodomous Ghost. Never seen this before. Got it for a real good price. So I figured why not check it out. Love Lucio Fulci. So. Another one happy to uh, get Adam Green film. Spiral. This is a mid Anchor Bay logo release. Um, some pretty crazy stuff. Uh, I think like schizophrenia. One I got from my buddy Bob. Uh, the Strong House. Never heard of this before. He got it from our public library. So It's got that guy in it. Who played in uh, 
Force Master. Classic stuff. And Subhuman. I've been wanting to check this out for a while. Looked really, really good. For good, why not? And I was very happy to get the Suckling vinegar syndrome release I actually picked this up and I was one of the unfortunate ones who had the slip cover that was destroyed for some reason the shipping and then I had to wait but they sent it like a week or two after so I was happy that I actually got at least another copy of the slip so yeah, I, I love the slip cover stuff of course uh, Tales from the Crypt presents Ritual um, the third Tales from the Crypt movie I guess this is a pretty decent one. We got some crappy CGI, but real fun. Um, Robin Cook's Terminal. Got this for a dollar. Looked pretty good. Figured why not? It's got Michael Ironside in it. Real cheesy stuff, I'm sure, but I enjoy that kind of stuff. One I'm happy to have. Still sealed though. Terror Taxi. I gotta check this out. Definitely, it's from Tokyo Shock. Looks real wacky. Can't wait to dig into it. One I was very surprised I didn't own in the collection, Vincent Price and The Tingler. Oh, we have a Castle film right here. Classic stuff. Love that movie. Another Full Moon film. Really happy to own. Totem. Some cheesy stuff, but real good. Uh, this one picked up at Kmart also. Looks really cheesy. Trailer Park Shark. I haven't uh, watched it yet, but it just it looks ridiculous. Trailer Park Shark. Uh, they're going to need a bigger trailer. <laughs> I don't know. And, uh, the new Tremors film, Tremors of Cold Day and Hell. Well, the newest Tremors film, I guess. Looks pretty fun. Jimmy Kennedy. Michael Gross. That's going to be awesome. Another one I found at um, local FYE, Tromas War. Uh, Troma release course um very cool love this movie real cheesy like a uh, trauma goodness uh, another horror western undead or alive this is chris Kattan and uh, james denton so this is gonna be some funny stuff uh, at least by image it looks pretty fun so can't wait to check that out urban legend bully mary don't know too much about this one, but I saw it for a dollar, so I had to pick it up. It's cheap. Scream Factory release of Valentine. I'm real happy to have this. I love this movie. Glad to be able to upgrade from the old snapper case I had. Vampire Cop. Real fun film right here from uh, Donald Farmer. He actually autographed this one for me, too. Released by SRS Cinema. Some good cheesy shot on video stuff from the 90s. Real messed up film right here from Honor Films, Visceral. Uh, I thought it was uh, pretty good, just some like bondage, fucking torture shit. Brutal. Definitely brutal. And Vi from uh, Severin. I'm very happy to have this in the collection. This is one of those films that didn't even know existed until this came out. Totally missed out on it. But glad uh, a buddy of mine on the Facebook hooked me up with it for a really good price for what he got it for. So I was very thankful. Very thankful for that. And a Wolf Cop. Uh, this movie looks so good. I haven't dug into it yet, but I will very soon. It looks just cheesy. A wolf Cop. And on Wrong Turn. Surprisingly, I didn't have this in the collection. The only one I didn't have. Slipcover seen better days, but I just really wanted the movie. Um, last up for this video, uh, Zombiethon, the Full Moon Grindhouse Collection release. This is like a, a trailer compilation or whatever of like zombie films. Pretty cool. And that'll do it. Um, Thank you guys for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite movie that I picked up was. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's always appreciated. Thanks guys for watching. And I'll talk to you later.